Hello and welcome to my green um, studio. <laughs> I've teamed up with Hippo, the waste removal experts, to help the nation access their inner DIY hero. Now because around half of you don't have the confidence or the skills to do DIY, we're on a mission to give you some top tips to help you do up your home and garden. Painting is a job that 25% of Brits look forward to least. The reality is, it's actually quite therapeutic. Whether it be inside the home, an exterior wall, or a bit of furniture, it guarantees an instant impact to wherever you're painting. So get your rollers ready. So my top tips for painting. When you finish doing some painting with a roller, but you need to do some more later on or the next day, simply get some plastic wrap like this or a plastic bag and put that over the top of the tray. That way, when you take it off the next day, the paint is still nice and wet and can be reapplied onto the walls. When it comes to the tub of paint, so that you don't waste excess paint on the paintbrush on the side of the tin, simply put a rubber band all the way over the top or all the way around the bottom of the tin. When you dip your paintbrush in, instead of wiping the excess paint off on the side and creating a mess all around here and drips going down the side, you've all done it, you wipe it off on the rubber band and then get painting. That sounds obvious, but make sure you've got the right tools for the jobs. I mean, Hippo found out that 38% of you don't even have a hammer. 34% feel like you can't do any DIY when you haven't got the right tools. But don't worry, because if you get a little simple toolkit together, you can do it all. So my top tips would be get a drill, a pair of pliers, measuring tape, hammer, and lastly, a screwdriver. Now, 35% of Brits don't want to do any DIY because they're worried that they simply don't have the time to tidy up. So here are my top tips to keep things nice and tidy. Firstly, post-it notes. Not only great for writing down what tools you need for a job, but also really good for keeping things tidy. When you found your place on the wall to drill a hole into, simply get one of these sticky post-it notes, stick it on the wall underneath where you're drilling, and fold it up like this. That way, you're creating a little hammock so that when you drill into the wall, the brick dust will fall into the post-it notes, you can rip it off and throw it in the bin. For larger waste materials, one of these is absolutely perfect. It's a hippo bag and can be folded up and kept in your house until you're ready. Then open it up outside the front of your house, fill it up to the top, and then when you're ready again, you contact Hippo by app, by website, by phone, and they'll come pick it up and take it away. Best bit is that 95% of what goes in there gets recycled. Did you know that 46% of Brits don't do any DIY because they simply don't have the confidence? If that sounds like you, then my advice is to start small and build your way up and get your confidence going. If you want to talk about starting small, let's talk about hanging a picture. How do you know that where you're hammering the nail is the right place for the hook on the frame? Well, very simple tip for you. Get some toothpaste and just put a little blob of it exactly here on the hook. Now take the picture and put it onto the wall exactly where you want it to be hung and then press it hard against the wall so that the toothpaste transfers from the picture hook onto the wall. And that's where you're going to put your nail. If you've learned a great new DIY tip or hack, make sure you share it with your family and friends. and That will build their confidence. It's exactly what I do on Instagram and TikTok, and it helps others. Because did you know that 52% of Brits don't do any DIY because they say that they don't have the skills, and the other 46% say that they just don't have the confidence. So build it up, share the DIY love. The best way you can maximize storage in your house is by putting up some shelves. But if it's stressing you out where to put the shelves, then all you should use is this stuff, masking tape. You can use it to visualize roughly where you want your shelf. Put it on the wall where you want it. Put a spirit level on top just to make sure it's not at an angle, otherwise everything's gonna fall off the shelf. Then that is exactly where you're gonna put your shelf. If you want your paintwork to have a lovely smooth finish, then what you do is you get a torch or a light and shine it across the surface. That way it'll pick up any areas that you think might need a second coat.
Welcome to my beautiful garden. Really, yeah. Now, we're always looking for cost-effective ways to make our homes and gardens look better. Here's a great tip. Look for old pallets. Little delivery pallets. They're great. You can screw them to the wall or to the fence, and then you put some shells in it, and it's a perfect display for all of your herbs and potted plants. One job that Brits hate doing more than anything is cleaning out their block drains. But the answer might be staring at you from your kitchen cupboard. Start off by running some hot water into your drain. Then get a one cup of bicarbonate of soda, one cup of vinegar, and then wait for 10 minutes. Once the time's up, you flush it all away with even hotter water and hopefully you should have some clear drains. There you have it. There are my tips and hopefully they will give you a bit of confidence to tackle your next DIY job. Oh, and don't forget to keep the area nice and clean by using one of these hippo bags. Don't forget, 95% of the materials that go in get recycled. Right, I'm off to put up a shelf. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm in a green screen studio. There's lights everywhere. There's no shelf. Mm -hmm.